I'm Matt Vanicoro, and I am checking out Waves Factory Old Tape Piano. This is a really, really fun instrument with a lot of character. First, I've got some transport controls right here. I can get the rewind sound, which any old tape junkie will know is different from the fast forward sound. And I can play and get that background tape noise that is fully adjustable up here, as is the color of the instrument in general. So fully controllable tape noise of how much you get before you even get to this eight layered sampled retro instrument. So lots of fun sounds with lots of character. Now you can use the instrument without the tape at all if you want to. But that tape is really what gives you the ability to have a lot of fun with the character of this sound. Now you can speed up the tape if you want to. And right now since it is linked to the tuning of the instrument, you'll hear it speeds that up as well. So that makes for a really fun effect if you're playing some and you want to gradually get up to speed, you can map that to your MIDI controller or to your sequencer so that the song you're playing gradually speeds up and gradually moves into tune, which is really cool. You can also go ahead and, you know, disassociate the tape speed from the tuning if you want. So you can control them independently. Let's stop the tape for a bit. Now, that's the main screen. I've got some effects that are easy to get in there so you don't have to worry about opening up the wrench and getting into the dark side of contact. If you want to quickly throw some, you know, uh, nice reverb on there. It's very easy to do without having to get in there and route some crazy things. And then finally, on the settings page, I've got the ability to go ahead and restrict the round robin to a single note or you get three repetitions for that human feel as you're working on the samples and work and playing. So the three different samples per note that it revolves through allows for a bit more of a human touch. But then again, if you really wanna go old school and go lo-fi, you can get one per note. So that that note is the same every time it's played at that dynamic level. Now. The velocity curve will give you the ability to stay away from those higher samples or favor those higher samples depending on your MIDI controller and how the MIDI responds. Of course, you can adjust this after you've already recorded stuff in your DAW if you want. So some of the higher end samples, the really high velocity samples of this one, can be pretty loud because it's really saturating that tape and peaking it in a really cool um, and authentic way. But if you want to restrict the maximum velocity so that it never gets up there, no matter how hard you hit it, you can do that too. So you can still get the old sound without having to worry about, you know, getting distortion or peaking that you didn't want to have. Now you can also restrict the dynamic range. So if you want to stay in that high peaked area, no matter how softly you play, I just played very softly, you can do that. Finally, we've got an access to an envelope here to really shape the sound. So you can almost get like a bowed piano effect if you pull the attack out. So you can really get some cool sounds out of this by, you know, restricting your attack or even restricting the release to make it very percussive. <laughs> Stuff that you can almost only get from a, a synth library nowadays. So you've got some really great sound shaping tools there. And of course, to turn off any of these menus, you just click them again and you're back to your main screen where you can bring in the noise. So that's old tape piano from Waves Factory.